Sold! $400,000 over asking. Holy smokes! Make bidding war stop. Pew pew! Are they ever going to stop? Stay tuned to this week's episode of Prime Property TV. I promise you it'll be worth it. Good day Toronto. Welcome to another episode of Prime Properties TV. I'm so glad you could join us here today. One of the biggest concerns for buyers these days are bidding wars. They make people cringe. They make people clench up and they make people very, very nervous. Like honestly, if it were me and I'm trying to make the biggest purchase of my life and I have to do it this way, I would feel like that exact same way too. And frankly, sometimes I still do. Now, if you're unfamiliar with what a bidding war is, it's basically like a silent auction. Everyone gets a shot at naming their price and what they're willing to pay for it. Now the question is, you don't know who bid on what and for how much. And at the end, you just really hope that you're the one that comes out on top and wins. Now traditionally, you know, in previous few years ago, you go see a house, you go take some time to decide and see if you like it, and then you submit an offer. And then maybe you go back and forth with the seller and try to meet in the middle sometime. <clears throat> nope, that does not exist anymore right now. Not even close. It kind of goes a little bit more like this. You go see a house, you like it, and you're like, oh my God, oh my God. Immediately you're like, there aren't many of these left. And then the seller's agent comes up to you and he's like, oh, I want to submit an offer. He's like, sorry, we are not considering preemptive offers. Please submit your offer on this date. And really what this date is, is the bidding war. Oh, I mean, it's what they're calling it. It's an offer date, a bidding war, whatever you want to call it, but let's be real. This is the date where the bidding war happens. And this is generally what a lot of my clients go through. So they stir for a few days, they get nervous, and then they pray that this bidding war doesn't attract all the nut jobs that's gonna compete with you. And that kind of basically sounds about right in this current market condition as we're shooting it. So if the latter is you, make sure you tune into next week's episode where I'll be talking about how to win a bidding war. But for now, the question here lies, when are bidding wars going to stop? I'm not competitive, I'll just wait until they don't exist anymore and then I'll buy my home. Well, if you're in that camp, you could be waiting for a little bit longer. How long? I have no idea. But bidding wars will stop when the market conditions change. What do I mean by market conditions changing? Well, there's currently a, we're currently in a style of market we what we call seller's market, meaning the seller has the advantage because of the one sole reason. Although there could be a whole bunch of other sub reasons related to this sole one, but it all comes down to this. There are not enough sellers out there right now. There are too many buyers in this market. And you may have heard actually recently, finally actually, our Minister of um, Finance finally came out and said, we have a supply issue. Thanks Sherlock, we knew that a while ago. Until we have more supply or sellers than we have buyers bidding on, on, the, new house, actually on the new listing, this condition will continue. Currently, I'd say there's about, for every one listing that comes out, 30 buyers and easily when on offering day, there's probably double digit offers right now, which is nuts. Like think about it, 10 offers you're competing with. You'll be competing with that many. Odds are surely stacked against you. I mean, granted these houses are listed well under market value, but that's kind of how you hear ludicrous things like sold $400,000 over asking. The price is worth as much as someone is willing to pay for. That's what it means to be in an open market. So the question and always is this, when is that market condition gonna change? It's definitely hard to say right now, but I'd say it's gonna take something huge, like a massive, massive lending change from the government to essentially make these buyers go away, price them out of the market or make it so hard to buy. What this is, government officials are probably still speculating because clearly the last one that they thought would make it happen in October, the stress test, it did absolutely nothing. And if not, it probably messed things up even more. But more on that later. Thank you guys for watching. If you learned something, make sure you subscribe to Prime Privacy TO. It's over here, we moved the button this time. And remember, make sure you click on the little bell so you'll be updated when I put up new content. If you have any questions or you want free consultation, make sure you contact me. Contacts are right here. And remember, make sure you guys share this with family and friends because like I always say, an educated consumer is the best consumer. I'll see you next time, Toronto.